Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sure Grip Roller Skates and I'm back. I'm back at my friend, video producer, filmer, editor extraordinaire, Rolly Locks's private backyard ramp to talk to you today about how to do simple 180 little transition turns. This is gonna be super fun and I really, really, really hope that if you're a beginner, you watch my last video, which is just how to pump back and forth on the ramp so that you're ready to take it to these new heights. Let's just talk about, let's talk about what I'm wearing. Hello S1. The people at S1 gave me this helmet too. I mean seriously, just zero in on the fabulous of this because you just can't discount how good a helmet looks, right? Am I right? Feels good, looks good, makes me feel like a hundred percent when I'm on the ramp. Got my knee pads, got my elbow pads on. I encourage you highly wear as much of protective gear as you feel you need, okay? If you don't know what you need, wear everything. It's all good, no one cares. Everyone will be supportive of you being safe on the ramp. If you need to buy protective gear, you can go on over to pigeonskates.com and the good people over there will take care of you too. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always send me messages and I will do my best to answer them. Or you can leave it in the comment section and the group will help you. I'm doing uh, super good on subscribers, but I could always use you and I could always use you tapping that bell so you know when my next video comes out, okay? And if you need to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, Dirty Deborah Harry. All right, now that we got all that out of the way, let's get into how we do simple turns on the ramp safely. Ready? Let's go. All right, you can go when you're ready. Just remember to breathe. And breathing. All right, skaters, today we talk about making simple 180 transition turns here on the little ramp. I'm so excited. Now, last time when we talked about just pumping back and forth, one of my main tips was that you need to be in a staggered stance. You cannot be skating around the skate park or ramps with your feet side by side. We need to be in a staggered stance. Now, when we do our turns, we need to be in a staggered stance with that back knee pushed underneath the knee or toward the knee of the foot that's in front. Again, weight will be on your back foot. How do you know if weight's on your back foot? When you put your feet like this and you set your weight down, does your hip pop out? If your hip pops out, trust me, your weight's on your back foot. You do not want to have your weight on the front foot. See how my hip goes in and my foot comes out. You do not want to be in that position when you're on the ramp turning. You want to be with that hip pushed out and the knee pushed underneath in that staggered stance. All righty. Before you go up the ramp, it's a good idea if you know which foot you want to put in front because the foot in front dictates the direction you're going. I have seen this so many times at parks and I've seen this so many times in videos. You're going to turn left and you go up and you put your right foot in front and do this kind of maneuver. Please, if you are a beginner skater, heed my warning now. Learn how to skate in a staggered stance with your left foot in front. Ditto, learn for skating in a staggered stance with your right foot in front. When you turn left, left foot in front. When you turn right, right foot in front. Cardinal sin of skating is turning left with your right foot in front, turning right with your left foot in front. It looks awkward even when I do it on a flat. This is not a good way for me to turn. If I want to turn that way, stick the left foot in front, turn. If I want to turn right, right foot in front, turn. If I want to turn right and I stick my left foot in front, awkward, awkward, awkward. The beauty of skating a skate ramp or a park is the ability to get into the flow. The movement is built in. It's your job just to ride with some flow and some smoothness and some style. And the best way you can do that is understanding that you may have a favored direction, but that other direction needs some attention too. Left foot in front, right foot in front. Today we will do both. As a beginner skater, don't cheat yourself. Do both right from the beginning, okay? You can always tell yourself, 
I've got a favorite side. I know my go-to side. My go-to side is turning clockwise. Your go-to side may be turning counterclockwise, but you can always do the other side. So when we go up the ramp, we're gonna go up in our staggered stance with the foot forward in the direction that we wanna turn. So I've got right foot in front and I'm turning clockwise. When I go to turn, I'm coming up the ramp. I've got my arms like this, basically mimicking the staggered stance that I'm already in. In order to tell the rest of my body, it's time to go. I'm gonna start moving my upper body. So I'm gonna be like this, and I'm gonna start drawing my arm back so that my foot will start turning. All right, so I will go up, draw back and turn, up, draw back and turn, up. If I want to go to the left, same thing. Up, draw back and turn, up, draw back and turn, up, draw back and turn. All right. So when I talk about your arms, it's really important that your arms are going up with you and down with you up and down the your arm tells your body I want to turn I want to turn to the right I want to turn to the right I want to turn to the left when I do that when I reach my arm forward and take it back to turn I'm not taking it out if I take it out I'm gonna make real wide turns realistically we're going up and we're coming right back down the same lane Okay, so I want that arm to go up and down, up and down, reach up, bring it back. If I go like this, I'm gonna go real wide out. So make sure when your arm comes up and down, it's for tight turns. If you want your arm to go way out there, plan on your body following that direction. So if you're gonna make a big wide turn, you can bring that arm out. So now that we've got essentially looking at your upper body as being boxed, whenever I say boxed, shoulders straight across, snacks tight over your hips, moving your arm to begin that turn, we cannot ever forget the ever present, always necessary snack area. Boom! Snacks must be tight in order for me to turn. When I pull it like this, I'm ready, like, go snacks, go! And all my stomach muscles buried beneath all of the whipped cream is like, urgh, 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 like this, and they gotta tighten up. You gotta tighten up like you're real strong so you can make that transition in that tight area. You guys, when you do transitions, you don't always have a lot of space. So when I turn, I'm tight, tight, tight right here. Tighten it up and twist. Now, you're probably thinking, Dirty, I can roll up this ramp and I could swing my arm around and tighten up my snack area. But what the hell do I do with my feet? I'm so glad you asked. Feet are very important. Why? Because they got roller skates on them, right? And this is what we're doing. Feet are very important. Now, you know you are on the right track. If you ascend the ramp and you've in your staggered stash, you've got your hips sticking out. That means you got weight on it. You know that you are in the best position to turn. If your front foot just starts coming up on its own, meaning it starts going like, yep, yep, I'm ready. I'm ready to do something. Watch my foot, okay? So, I get a little speed, put that weight on. As soon as I go up just enough, that toe wants to come up. It wants to. Don't deny it, yet don't try it. You know what I mean? It's got to be natural. It's got to be an effect of having so much weight here that you're going upward and here's the ramp and your toes just kind of like, yes, yes, ma'am, yes. You can't go up the ramp and be like, let me control this situation. Now turn. It doesn't work like that. Remember, the movement is already built in 
to this park. It's already built into this ramp. It's built into this space. It's your job to feel it out and be a good little dance partner, okay? So when you go up, you've got your weight firmly on the back and you feel that front toe, that front truck coming off the ramp just a little bit when you get high up enough on the transition it's going to happen naturally that's when you draw your arm back and turn your foot it's super easy to turn your foot once the front truck's off the ground it just goes mm, you just turn it just turn it there's nothing magical about it you just turn it okay so you'll see it come up just a little bit comes up a little bit a little bit turn it turns right then and there turns arms tells it what to do twisting snacks turn the other thing let's talk about your head the head encased in your beautiful helmet your head in skating obviously super important anywhere that you turn your head is where your body's gonna go so you'll see that the speed in which i turn my head is also the speed in which my body will turn the direction in which i turn my head is the direction my body will turn and where i look is where i will end up so be mindful of this part of your body okay we got to put it all together so I'm approaching the ramp. My body is boxed out. I'm pushing down, okay? Floating up, pushing down. I know how to do this, why? Because I already watched your first video, Dirty. So you're pumping, fakey pump, getting all the way up to that coping because you're all badass now. Okay, so now you're saying, I wanna turn. But you're like, this seems really frightening because I'm way up here way up here so just gonna turn down the volume Whew. yeah halfway here pull my arms turn my head head shoulder arm snacks toe toe snacks arm head That's how you turn on a ramp. Do you think you've got it all together? Do you? Are you just thinking about eating snacks now? Because that's all I'm thinking about. Let's review. Step one, find someone who has a ramp. Step two, go to your local skate park. Step three, build your own ramp. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much it. No. Understand body weight. It's got to be on the back foot. Front foot is in front, obviously, called the front foot. Staggered, knee, tucked in. So it rides like that, more like a skateboard. You're gonna be turning your head, pulling your arm back with your shoulder, tightening up your snacks, and turning. Always looking to where you want to be, where your future is. All right, you guys? Look, I ain't gonna lie to you, this stuff is difficult. It's difficult, but that's why it's so fun. It's the struggle of it and then finally achieving it and then making it smooth and acting like it ain't no big deal is why it's so great. I highly encourage you, if you are a skater of another discipline, get your skates on and try something new. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or you can, uh, you can DM me, no problem. If I don't answer you, I apologize greatly because I actually do spend a lot of time answering people's questions. I love to hear from you guys. I wanna hear how you're doing, how you're progressing and all that, all right, skaters? So hopefully this has been informative to you. And if it does, give it a like, a uh, thumbs up, right? And uh, share it, that would be great. And as always, subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye skaters, go practice.